Silk is known to be a luxurious fibre. It's uh, very soft, it's extremely fine, has a natural sheen, and it comes from the cocoon of a moth. The moth's got a wonderful name, Bombyx mori. That's most of them. And then there are other types of moth. But actually, silk comes in various different qualities, so let's have a look. This here is silk waste. So when you start to unravel the cocoon, uh, you end up with little knobby bits on the outside, especially if it's wild silk. So we'll have a look at what that can be used for. It's a bit rough. This is silk noil, which means it's the outer bits really of the cocoon. So can you see here, it's quite solid. It's a little bit irregular. There, there's heavier denier, which is what we call the weight. Um, and so that is a more textured, textured silk. We'll have a look at that. And then when it's spun, and it's also entirely, uh, it's, it's, um, the moths are fed on mulberry leaves in their whole lives and it's produced in a production that's uh, regular and guaranteed. Then you end up with these incredibly soft fibres and very long and silky, even. Just like it with any textile, you need to think about the fibre that the product is made in. Because you can't say, oh, I'm going to buy silk. You mean I'm going to buy silk dupion or plain silk or something. Believe it or not, this is a, an interior uh, throw. But this little brown thing here is that wild silk, that waste silk we were talking about. You wouldn't want to wear this, far too heavy. Look at the colour you get in this. Silk is fantastic for receiving colour and that is natural sheen. This is a shot piece of fabric, that means that one, the warp is blue and the weft, which goes across the way, is pink and together they shine because it, depending upon the light, you get a different tone. This silk fabric here is called Dupion. It's got this irregular, uh, irregular slubs in it. Can you see? A slub is the name for a lumpy bit in textiles. And it's very crisp, and that would partly be the way it was finished in production, but it's partly the silk from which it comes from, so it's the stronger fibre silk. It's this one, here. Yeah. Silk does crease. It insulates, it's a fantastic insulator, but you can also wear it in hot climates, which is why it's very popular in some of the clothing in the Far East. Can be, when it's very smooth, knitted and woven very finely. So here we are, here's a silk knit. You don't see this very often. But look at the evenness of the cloth and look at the drape. It does crease though. Feels beautiful. And here's another piece of very soft silk. This is a, a summer garment. And uh, look, you can see it just wafts away. That's what we love about silk. It's fantastic. It's a protein. It uh, doesn't always like being washed. Sometimes it needs to be dry cleaned because it'll take away the finish on the fabric. This one is happy to be washed. Uh, we just have to say though that silk as a protein doesn't last forever. So here's a scarf I've had for many years, which I love because I like the way in which it was dyed. It's a craft dyeing process, but the ends of it have now rotted. But because I repair things, that won't worry me. I'm going to chop it off here, roll it back and sew it. Silk, fantastic fibre.